Today I'm going to show you four simple lighting setups that you can do with only one light. Now this setup is going to work for photo or video mode, but I'm going to show you in video just because it's easier to show since it's a constant light. Now a camera is basically a light capturing device. You got good light, you got a good image. And light itself has four main properties. You have the quality of the light, that's how hard or how soft the light is. You have the quantity of the light, which is just how bright or how dark the light is. You have the color of the light, which can refer to the color temperature or if you have the light gelled or something like that. And lastly, you have the direction of the light, which is which direction the light is coming from. So once you figured out how much light you need, the color of the light you need, and the quality of the light that you need, now it's time to figure out where to place the light. Now all of these setups pay very attention to where the shadows fall because that's how we determine what type of setup it is. Lighting is all about where the shadows fall and where the highlights fall to define the image. So the first lighting setup is Rembrandt lighting and that's currently what I'm using right now. Rembrandt lighting has a slightly dramatic look to it because you have a light side of the face and you have a darker side of the face, but the darker side of the face has a little triangle under the eye. And that's how you can tell that you're doing Rembrandt lighting properly. You can get this look by putting the light slightly above your subject at about a 45 degree angle and just make sure that the shadows are falling where they're supposed to. You should have a nice triangle right here under the eye. Now the next lighting setup is loop lighting. Loop lighting is just like Rembrandt lighting but if you look at the triangle that was under my eye we've expanded it a little and we separated the shadow from the nose and the cheek. To get loop lighting all you have to do is move the light a little closer to the center from where it was during Rembrandt lighting and that'll get rid of the little shadows and make it a little less dramatic. The third lighting setup is split lighting and that's when you place the light directly on the side of the subject making a very obvious difference between the light side and the dark side. Now just like I said before you want to make sure where the shadows fall so you want to make sure the line is split directly in the middle of the subject. Lastly we're going to talk about butterfly lighting. They call it butterfly lighting because it leaves a butterfly shaped shadow under the nose. They also call this paramount lighting because it was used heavily in the early days of Hollywood. Now, this is a very simple lighting setup because the light is centered with the subject and is slightly above angled down so that the shadow is cast below the nose. Now what you don't want is for the shadow under the nose to actually touch the lips. If the shadow under the nose is touching the lips then you have the light angled a little too far and it won't look as flattering. Now these lighting setups will work no matter which light source is. It could be a lamp, it can be a Home Depot light or your cell phone flash or whatever it is that you have. Just pay attention to where the shadows fall and where the highlights fall at to define your subject within the space that you have. Now I'm gonna do more videos in the future on more complex lighting setups, but this is something that can help you get started with just one light and it's very easy to do. If this video was helpful, please leave a thumbs up, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, and I will see you guys next time.